a new snow speeder and I want a hologram of Darth Vader. Oh, hey, Pop Kids. I was just working on my Christmas list and there is a lot of Star Wars stuff on it. You see, ever since I was your age, I've been a huge Star Wars fan. I even have the school picture to prove it. Yeah, take a look. I wore my Star Wars shirt holding my favorite Star Wars book and I was even wearing a Star Wars watch. Star Wars watch. I could use one of those. I should put that on my list. Sorry. You know, that picture makes me think of a funny story. About the same time, I wrote a social studies paper and I used this Star Wars book as an example in it and I got an A. But what if I had tried to use a Star Wars book for the answers on a science test? Or what if I had tried to study for a math test with this book? I don't think it would have gone very well for me. You see, my Star Wars book didn't always have the answers I needed at the time, but it could always have an adventure in it for me. And it could take me back to a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It kind of reminds me of, well, my Bible. I remember different times in my life that I feel really frustrated because I couldn't find the answer to a question I had about life or a real life test I was going through. But one day I realized something. The Bible was especially written to be a book of promises. Sometimes the questions I have don't seem to have an answer that I can easily find in my Bible. But I found that I can always find promises from God in my Bible. And those promises always give me hope. Like this one from Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. When I read that, it reminds me that God promises to have a plan and a hope for us. You might even say, a new hope. <laughs> That's a Star Wars reference. Never mind. Promises give us hope. And the biggest promise in this book is Jesus. And that's what Advent, or the Christmas season, is all about.